Uh, hey folks, Ryan here. Patrick's with me. Sure am. We're That's looking what at, I was told. We're looking at Portal 2. Finally! I'm gonna take a look at Portal 2. I need to do a quick look at this game. It's about damn time. No, we're, we're here to look at the Perpetual Testing Initiative. So Valve just rolled out basically the, uh, what you see, this new uh, menu option, Community Test Chambers. Obviously we're playing on the PC version. This is the only place that, uh, at the moment, you can get at this stuff. I guess, I mean, you know, the Mac PC version. and Mac, yeah. I'm just, right. I, when I say PC only, I basically mean not video game consoles. Yeah, I wonder if they'll try and find a way to get at least the levels made, or at least a, a selection of them, but uh, maybe the, I, that is l perhaps more likely on the PS3, given the restrict the lack of restrictions there, but uh, I would count that out on the Xbox 360 for sure. So this is, this is Patrick, y y both you and myself, uh, this is our first uh, look at the perpetual testing stuff. Yeah, I mean, I've been following it since they announced it last yeah. October, uh, where it kind of went dark. They were like, oh, this is coming soon, but, you know, in typical Valve fashion. Uh, coming soon is when, when they're ready to roll it out. And, and, they, when they, they, and when they're ready to roll it out, it comes out a couple days later. They just put it out. They're like, okay, it's done. Put it out now. Uh, so this is the little video that plays at the start. I'm just going to play this so that people have a little context. And you get some good Cave Johnson stuff here. Cave Johnson here. Every time I look at our test chamber production line, I am reminded of my father. Now, he wasn't a scientist. Just a simple farmer, a professor of farming at the local farm college. Never farmed a day in his life, but his <laughs> theories on farming are the backbone of this company. Do it from scratch. Spare no expense. And never cut corners. Well, that's a orientation video is for internal use only. Do not distribute to other earths. Things the way my father did, <laughs> and his father before him, and his father before him, and his father before him, and we are almost bankrupt. So, time for a cheaper approach. Allow me to introduce. <laughs> The multiverse. Infinite Earths with an infinite number of apertures. And as of now, they are going to take over all test chamber construction. And more importantly, all paying for test chamber construction. Why are they agreeing to do that? They're not. We're tricking them. <laughs> Here's how it works. One, design a test. Two, slip the mole monsters or what have you, the blueprint, when they're not looking. Three, once they build it, steal it back. Look at that sad little octopus. <laughs> That's where you come in. We need blueprints. We are about to run the greatest con game in the history of the multiverse, and you are the bottleneck. Yes. I want that you. diamond. Get yeah. Back to work. All right. So, so it is both a, uh, you know, a creation tool here. You can see I can create test chambers, or I can go and play other folks' uh, chambers. Um, Patrick, do you want to just dive right in here? What do you say? Yeah. Considering, you know, how much fun we had driving everyone mad when we did the Portal 2 co-op, we figured, why not do it all over again yes. with our own puzzles? We are the perfect duo to create our own uh, test chamber here. All right, so what are my options? I can... Uh... Dude, this is a level editor. Yeah. This is nuts. So I can drag around like this. What's my perspective here? Switch to game view. Then let's jump, drop you, you into it. And place puzzles, edit... Your help puzzle. What sort of tips have you got here? Oh, okay, well, this just goes over here. Browser. Hints. Select it, drag across my search to select. Use the edges. Use the edges of a second screen. Use the post magic street in and out. All puzzles have an entry door, exit door, large observation room window. Oh, so those are always in that position. You cannot move them, I guess. I love that an observation room window is a requirement for a level. No, no, I can move this around. Oh, okay. They just have to be there. Yeah, it's just a an, a necessary thing. Put that there. Ha ha. All right. What can I do to uh, try? try maybe right clicking. Does that bring up your? No, it just lets me uh, grab around. It's probably rather on the left there. I think that left is your is your toolbar. Just my uh, deadly goo, light strip, turrets, laser relay, reflection cube. I mean, these are, this is everything. Yep. I guess, yeah, just drop a couple things in and then switch to game view and we'll see how this works. So that's the that puzzle there. looks pretty complicated, Ryan. Do you like it? I like this puzzle. All right, well, fucking. There. 
How about that? Uh, do, you, do, you like that? do you like that puzzle better? <laughs> figure that one out, Brainiac. You figure it out. Jump in your own puzzle. See All how right. you get around All that. All right, let's... I will. I'll switch the game to you. Oh, what? Oh, I didn't do my thing. Oh, wait. This view is not current. Rebuild your test chamber to view recent changes. Now uh, the third one. Rebuild. So I, I think it should be crystal clear right now that Patrick and I are not going to be the creative forces that make uh, the perpetual testing initiative a success. <laughs> we will be the consumers, obviously. That's yeah, kind of how it always is with, with with this stuff. Although I never end up I never end up diving as deep into it as as much as I would like. You know, I play like Ludwig Planet like for the first week that way. Oh. Hey, nice work! Fuck you, turret! Search for nothing. I'm out. Cave Johnson is proud of you. Yay! Now let's start me all over again. Okay, exit to editor. You need to snap right back here. This is pretty damn cool. I need to figure out. I'm missing something here with how to. What are you trying to do? Make the room bigger. <coughs> it's glass. Got try it. There's stuff on I the uh, on the I right and left. Ah, uh, Franken cubes. I've got those in there. Oh, oh gosh, I didn't even see. Are those not? What are those? Oh, it's zooming. Okay. All right. Um, it's easy enough to select and then move the elements that are in place here. Well, how'd you make that hallway? I just dragged this entrance way down here. I was just moving this around, and I figured out that I could do that. Um, let's see here. What else can I do here? Although now it's not letting me go any... Because there, there clearly has to be like a. I wonder if you were holding a button down. I'm sure there's a boundary box, but this is it's certainly got to be bigger than this. Oh yeah. All right, maybe try going to help again. There's nothing here in the objects that I'm missing here. Help. Oh. What are yeah, tips or controls maybe? Let's see. The Whereas tap the side. P can change the portal ability of the selection. Oh, so that means you can change the texture of the... Okay, so I could just be like, burp, and be like, P. All right, now yep. you can portal on there. Yep. Or I could be like, not over here. Not, no, you didn't. Okay. So create a little box there. No portaling. Great. Get in places. Let's just look at overall controls here. Rotate chamber, pan chamber, forward chamber, chamber, select... Is extrude surface depressed surface. So when you say it's extrude or depressed surface, can I just be like? It's like. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, is that plus and minus? Yeah. So you just dr drag a surface and then plus or minus. Oh, how'd you do that? Well, in this case, okay. So once I have an area selected, like this, that creates a boundary box that you can. I can then grab uh, the edges and change them accordingly, and make this terrifying room. <laughs> I don't think I don't think this room is physically possible. Well, what happens if so? There's uh, jump in a game, and then what's what happens when you hit the play button? Like with this? Yeah. Like does play do some sort of optimal playthrough? Like if you go, yeah, I see like. No, this is just what drops us in, I think. No, there's a switch to game view and build. Oh, oh, that rebuilds it and that's drops what, you that's in. What, okay. okay, that's All why right. we. That's why the first time we went in. So you can continue to build, then but go into a previous version of it without seeing the changes reflected. Right. Gotcha. Okay. Okay.
I wonder if it, it'll tell me, like, hey, yo, this is impossible. I wonder if it's smart enough to know, like, okay, you can't. Like, you have you have created a scenario that is not... Yeah. <clears throat> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, ah! God! <laughs> There's nothing I can do! There's no... I think you... Yeah. Trapped in your own nightmare. Yep. Okay. So it's not smart. Oh, wait, what's, oh, wait hold wait, on. With... There's totally a hallway back here. I just have to take the long way around this stupid... God damn. Uh. That poor little gun, it does nothing! Knock you over. Okay, what's in here? More madness? Okay, yeah. Okay, maybe you are. Yeah, I think I did make an impossible scenario. Okay. Wait. Yeah, I don't know where you. Yeah, there's nowhere to jump this is out. It's gonna take me to. There. We're darkness. Okay, so I, maybe I didn't make the best portal so what, level so we, here. Okay, so if this looks like this is unfinishable, right? What if we try and export it? Like, it, it seems like it seems like there has to be something, right? Like, it would be weird if you could just flood the market with. I wonder if it like forces you to finish it. That would be smart. Like, if the creator can't finish it, yeah. then you can't publish it. Mm. <laughs> though just uh, claim it's a, it's a festival. Was it Lucidian Geometry? <laughs> what, what are our options? For I thought it was non-Euclidean. Non-Euclidean. Well, this is Euclidean. That's That's how crazy it is. For everyone! Yeah. Uh, you gotta agree. I agree that this is bullshit. <laughs> Alright, well... ta -da! Ta -da! We have uh, become a cancer on the Steam Workshop. We're screwing it up for everyone else, you guys! Mazel tov! Mm. Ooh. What does that mean? Uh, maybe that means that uh, it knows better. But that... Error 16 is not a... You're right. Okay, well, let's... Let's see if we can fix it. Yeah. Okay. So now that is fixed. Yes. And you know what? You... There your bonus is appreciated. Totally. You're gone. Is that a right click? Yeah, you right click on, on objects, objects and you can... Oh, you're, he's right. Okay, so... You gotta get rid of this wall here. Yeah. I just... Okay, there we go. I just push it out. All right. Okay. All right, so let's finish now it. There's this whole room down here. Okay, so what I want to do then is... You, yeah, make a way that you can get to that room. like some, And just put like 50 turrets down there. It's a nightmare hole. Right. If you create, if you created a yeah, if you, so if you put uh, made those portable there, then you could make it so you have to jump, like use gravity to shove you across to the to the ledge. Okay, so make the floor yeah. portable, then get rid of the the other one, so you have to bounce off that one wall. Okay, so then yeah, clear get rid out of these, all these, those non-portable, and then you have to use that space. I'll make this one portable too, just to. Even it out. Okay. We have created a puzzle. So you'll have to dive down here. Yep. Does that, does that, that looks like it works, right? Yeah. All right, let's freaking give it a shot. And then we should put a bunch of turrets at the bottom if you messed up. Oh, I should have. You're right. Hold on. I'm going to cancel. Cancel. All right. Maybe get rid of that uh, or pull up that, that second bottom layer that's got the stairs. Yeah. Like just make that level. Yeah, all right. All right, there we go. Okay. And then dump some turrets down there. Yeah, what's my, uh, can I, is there a way I can just mass produce turrets? Can I just... Activated. Sleep so. mode activated. <laughs> just a bunch of turrets on, on, uh, 
tall ledges. I was hoping I could control C, control V, these turrets. Oh. Yeah, if you end up down here, it's it's gonna be no good for you. I forget what does the the Franken cube do in this game again? I don't think it does anything. It's, it's just, just it's just a fucked up cube. Flops around. Oh. Yeah, it doesn't have a direction that it's looking or anything. Oh uh, no, that's no. And I like that you get a little like Cubert curse here when you have two things that can't exist in the same place. <laughs> Start enabled, delete item. What does start enabled mean? Uh, that when you start the level, it would either be on or off. Oh, oh, oh. I assume. Okay. All right. <clears throat> we have created a simple nightmare scenario for ourselves. I have to say, even just going into that first, the, the bad chamber that I made there, uh, big. Yes. Like, I was not expecting them to allow you to create something... Uh, just even, you know, obviously we haven't made anything terribly complicated yet, but just that much space. We should see how far we can push it. You want to see how big a room we can make? Yeah. Okay. I want to see that too. This is kind of a big useless room. I could do better there. All right. You don't want to be down there. But I got to get down but you there. You got to get down there. All right, so. What are those? I don't know, I didn't put oh, those there. You, did you put those lasers? Did you put lasers down? Oh, you know what? I think when I put the lasers at the bottom, I didn't delete them from the top. No. Okay, well, just add a complication. Yeah, it's got to be like a little more over here then. All right. All right, here we go. Nope, nope. <laughs> yes! All right! <laughs> did it come with you? Well, it did, but it fell. It didn't have oh, the good forward momentum because oh. it was just right there. <laughs> Where is it now? Yeah. Yep, there it is. Uh, yeah, see, it popped out of there and just ate it. Oh, wait, no, it's over here. So here's the way to make that even more difficult. Be, yeah, like if you push this section back. I don't know where you landed. But pretty easy to, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But like pretty easy to like, make a build, basic build something rough and then like test it out and be like, okay, we can tweak this and that and then just, you know, pop out of here, go back to the editor. Right, because you could see, okay, well that's the highest you could land. That means I can move this back so that people would have to better judge uh, where they place their portals. Color me impressed, Patrick Klepek. Not, not I, my... I've been waiting for this for a while. Not, not because uh, I, I expect that I'll find myself doing a lot of this, but you know, we really do need things like this to make it more accessible for people to, to get into doing stuff like this. Because as, as better as something like Unreal Engine is than where, you know, making levels in the past, doing Doom wads and stuff like that, you know, this is something that the everyman can load up and figure out. Yeah. Yeah, no, the, uh, like, the usability on this is, is really impressing me, for sure. But let's see... What happens when I do this? Okay, oh, so there okay. is a boundary box. It makes sense. I mean, none of the stages in Portal 1 or 2 were particularly big. And remember how big that those rooms were when we jumped into them. These are huge rooms, really. They're pretty big. Uh oh, I don't know. What I just did. Deleted where the portal starts. Ooh, it's happy again. I want you to expand that out. Hmm. Oh, it's because I'm I'm. Selecting the it's it's a weird thing. It's it's I imagine will take some getting used to but uh, The way that it determines whether you're selecting Just a surface or a 3d space Because you know, I'm just I'm using I'm going like this right right and then I start going up here It says oh, okay. You're you want to select all that hmm. All right, I, I think I've proven my point that I can't make good portal levels But that this game lets you do what you want so well, it's, uh, I mean, this has been out for what, 24 hours now, 48 hours now. Oh, There's got to be some stages. Oh, you know what it is? Is these are the drops for the Franken cubes? That's what those boxes oh. are. Oh, they're related. But to we us. don't have any way to get rid of them, so they're just perpetually sitting there. Yeah, we don't have any acid or 
No. Any ledges? We have, well, yeah, I don't think I don't think a turret would destroy one of those. Can you lay down any liquid that can kill you? Is your bounce just be uh, Yeah, there's deadly goo. Okay. So I guess that'd be a scenario where there. you could get rid of it. I'm, I've laid down all this deadly goo. Why is everyone so upset right now? Because they can't exist in deadly goo. Oh, that changes the entire floor. Yeah. Okay. We had have to create like some sort of container right. so I could be like, okay, let's let's like plus that up. All right, now we're now they're of, okay. Now they're not in the deadly goo anymore, and then I can just move you guys up here. I guess these things don't care if they're in the deadly goo. They probably just in. They probably just well, they, they they were just now dropping until so you grabbed it. And I'm gonna build this. Because you'd have to grab them out of midair, then. Or it's just going to constantly be dumping Frankie cubes. Um, I, I just want to see them constantly dropping Frankie cubes into Deadly no, okay. Goo. It's, 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 we would be able to jump off the ledge and then back over and probably fall into that area. And this puzzle is still solvable. Although, it'd... yeah, I did crap this up a little bit, but that's okay. Don't worry, we still got stairs down there. <laughs> stairs to nowhere. Yep. <laughs> Junking it up. Uh oh, oh, that one made physics. it over there. A little bit of physics in action there. Okay, well, I should be able to just do pretty much the same thing here, right? Yeah. It's just I gotta goose it a little bit. Oh, oh no! Well, or I just survived. I forgot, you can also fall forever in this game. Oh, oh the God, stairs! There's Get up the stairs! Oh no! The stairs don't go anywhere. I don't know where the exit is anymore. It's up there, isn't it? Oh, it's it? up there. Oh yeah, yeah, I did screw up. Well, you'd have to die. Back in the goo with you! And you as well! Mm. Oh, cheating. Woo! <laughs> Not cheating, I just solved it in another way, man. I mean, man. yeah, th these, these are big open spaces. Like, most portal levels are relatively compact. Except when they need to be big. Like, there are bigger Portal 2 levels than this, but... But they're, they're usually, that's that's when they're having you manipulate the gravity to, like, shoot yourself big distances. Sure. And which, as you as we've shown here, you can definitely uh, do that, so... All right. Now I am actually going to publish this, or try. Let's see what happens. It is, it is solvable. Yeah. It's not a good puzzle. No. God, no. But it qualifies. I'm going to call this... Call this level Stairs to Nowhere. So I guess we'll see if there was just a general steam error or if that was right unsolvable. That is a lousy error message to spit out if yeah. it is unsolvable. Error 16. I mean, this just launched, so. The sequel to the non-existent impossible nonsense. Go, man, go, 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 Don't tell Gabe. Don't tell Gabe. Slip it on in there. Come on, man. I think we're having better luck this time. Sure seems like it's going longer. Ah! Oh! This is the worst tension ever. I know. Error 17. Oh no, we went up with error. Alright, let's back out and look at some user levels. I mean, I can't. Can you force quit? Oh, there we go. Weird. 
Okay, uh, Patrick, I don't know if we actually got that published or not, but I'm going to chalk this all up to just uh, day one hiccups. Yep. Or I guess day two. Still, hiccups. Er, early hiccups. So uh, and the level editor works as advertised. It really does. I'm I'm very impressed. You know, I don't have the mind for it, so I, I'm not going to be able to really produce anything good. But they give you, it seems like, all the tools you would need to make uh, a, a clever, complicated um, Portal Two level. So let's... yeah, and they in the in the announcement release, they you know were inferring that you wouldn't be able to build everything that Valve built. Uh, using these tools, but you can build the vast majority of the things they made in the game uh, recreated with the same tool set. Alright, so this is, uh, how are we sorted here? Most popular this week? Well, yeah, that's just most popular of all time at this point. You want to see what the most popular yeah. map is? Someone has made this flaw S map pack here. Seven parts? Wait, we, we go back to the description. Six map, twelfth map, one inch map. How's this a different theme? I've tried to keep the difficulty level of the single player campaign. Well, I guess start with part one. Yeah, it would probably make sense, huh? It's not on the list. Uh, try it. Can you click on the guy's username? I can. Okay. You can see it's just popping up in the in the game back there. Okay. It's already downloaded it. This is a great picture. That's the thing is I can't imagine that like the the information for these for these uh, these chambers can't be that big. Well, it's not like it's streaming in new textures or anything. It's it's just a rearrangement of the existing. Oh, holy shit! You were saying. Maybe you can do more of this than we realized in our... Nice! That's, that is clever. Bravo. Nicely done. Really, that's, that's, that's good stuff. Top shelves for, for day two here. All right, this has to be... Man, this has got to be more than... Than what we just saw. Are we sure that th this is produced with what... I'm not convinced this was made with the tool we just used. <laughs> I think this might have been made with the other level editor that came out. Uh, yeah, big positive on that one. All right, let's uh, exit let's, queue. Yeah, let's go back. All right, let's go browse the workshop some more. Okay, let's go to uh, the community maps for science. See, I think these That's ones... That is what, okay. Well. That looked really cool, but I don't think that's reflective <laughs> of of what you can create in the tool that we. Yeah, have. this this I mean, just even just the imagery they have yep. here, like yep, this yep, yep, yep. makes me believe, like okay, that is probably done with the simple yeah. editor. That's done with the simple. Seems editor. like that's the way they differentiated is that that white stuff. Just don't get a smattering of these. Okay. Bravo. Anyway, though, that was yeah, still pretty. That clever. was still pretty cool, man. All right. Watch me be bad at Portal 2. You can Gladly. There, you can sit there and wonder, how did that guy ever review Portal 2? Well, they give us these reviewer guides, and... <laughs> it helps when Gabe Newell just tells you what to do. <laughs> he, he pulls out a knife, tells you you know what to do. Welcome, test subject. It's Cave Prime from Earth-1. <laughs> I am speaking to you from across time and space. I am literally in the future. You, I... Hold on. What? All right, my assistant Greg tells me none of that's true. <laughs> you are the first test subject we have ever sent into a parallel universe, which apparently has nothing to do with time travel. Still exciting. Anyway, you should be seeing a test chamber in front of you. We designed it. Those backwater universe yokels built it, and you're going to test it. Remember, you got to let us know if it works or not. Otherwise, you're wasting everybody's time on two Earths. All right, get to it. Oh. Cool. 
So you gotta power that thing. Hmm? Oh, right. So I gotta go that to, uh... To that. To that. I was trying to figure out how to paint this... Oh, surface? ...so that I could get that. All right, what I turn on? I turn on the light bridge. All right, mm. after I get to the light bridge. Hmm? That's telling you, there's a button up there. Yeah, I know. Oh, this is what I need, obviously. Yahtzee! Oh! Yeah, I might want to get that laser. I can't. Hmm. Got no way to cut it off before there. Get it. Control, control prevent that. Then, ah, okay. there we go. Oh. I hit the button. I get the cube. Still bouncy over there. Okay. Now you can get up there. Oh, that's right. Okay. And where else do you want to redirect this laser? Hmm. Hmm. Maybe. Straight to your right, like that one, up above the ba the diagonal one. This one here? Oh no, no that's a that's a window. Oh, it's a window. That's not an allowable spot. Well, wait, well, uh, because now if you create the if you point the laser at that, it's going to remove this laser bridge, isn't it? Is there, wait, is, hold on, is there another button you have to press? Anywhere? No? There's just the one? Okay. There's just the laser for this other light bridge. Yeah, the other light bridge is the key here. I, just, I don't know what we're missing. It's just that we're not very good at this game. That's accurate. Uh, But that's okay. I'm comfortable with that fact. All right, I'm not going to waste people's time trying to figure out this thing that I can't okay. figure out because I'm not very smart. All right, let's jump into another one real quick, at least see. But uh, we can uh, exit to Q. Exit to Q. I still think getting a, a pretty good sense of what this uh, this thing is possible or is capable of. Yeah, I'd be curious to see what they end up... You know, this is laying down... You know, the foundation to allow people to do grander things. Uh, 
But you can you can easily see how they start expanding on this to allow people to do. Imagine if you could create Left 4 Dead levels like this. You know, if you could you could be the AI director and set off the triggers around maps with a drag and drop interface. Imagine if you could do that while the game was going on. Trouble wise, you're in a lot of it, and you should probably run. All right, enough hypotheticals. Let's test this test. Why does it do anyone any good? Can you grab it? Not from here. You need to, uh, set up a portal so that the, the tractor beam will push the, yes. Well, no, you want to push it towards you. So, like, if you push it against the wall you're facing, okay, you yeah, should bring I'm it over here. Do it there. Yeah, you have the right idea. There we go. Should okay. be o should be over. It is. It will disintegrate if I go try and take it through there, though. Will it? Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, you have to dump it into a wall. Yeah. Just a dip. You have to get it through there. But when you walk through, that destroys the portals. So it does. You need to get through there so I can put it on that button. Right. Well, but if you... so... Because mm. there's that white surface on the other side of the puzzle. Like through there. Yeah. Well, that's clearly where I'm eventually yeah. going to have to move the, get the energy beam to that surface so I can just ride the energy beam across the goo. We got it this far. All right, well. And then, oh God, we fell into the goo! Terrible mistake. What happens, uh, what, what, uh, what's the evaluation stuff? What are our options? Oh, okay. Just Freaking thumbs up, thumbs down. That seems pretty good. We have a thumbs up. We didn't finish it. Whatever. Not your problem, creator. No, no. Not your fault at all. You clearly designed a good, simple little uh, little puzzle there. All right, let's go look let's go look for a giant one here. Oh, oh that's yeah. huge. We're definitely not going to finish this one. All right, bro beard. You're going to close this out. I you know what? I'm not sure why. Man oh man. Wow. Greg's multiple universe theory was dicey, but you're pulling through with flying colors. We're all very proud of Greg. Oh, and you. <laughs> some, just some it's, great, it's great that there's actually new dialogue. Some choice Cave Johnson stuff in here, man. I gotta say. Really. Pretty thrilled about it. Where's that go? Alright. Oh. 
damn it. <laughs> You're a real asshole, you know that? There. Now I've got this cube, now what? I, yeah, I, I don't, I'm not sure why, Patrick, but I am uh, more impressed by this uh, than I have been by other, you know, relatively easy to use level editors. Something about this that just seems like it's, dra well, it's drag and drop. It looks like a, it looks like a flash game. Yeah, no, the the interface that they have for creation is is simple enough that it's easy to grasp. But it has uh, it seems like it has enough options that you can do some inventive stuff. Obviously, there are a fair amount of limitations to how crazy you're going to get. But well, you you can't you can't get into the scripting and the the narrative stuff like that we saw with the proper editor yeah uh, that the other guy made so that i mean actually our, our accident did a good job of illustrating what is possible with the current editor uh and then this new one i guess the new one's the current one but either way uh yeah if but it this at least gives you you know you can dabble in creation kind of get your feet wet and if you decide you want to take it to the next step there are more powerful tools that allow you to do Things like we saw in in that that level pack that one guy made. Nicely done. Almost. Yes. Stay there. Uh, anyway, this is the perpetual testing initiative for for Portal Two. This is available now. It's, it's a, free. It's a free update to Portal Two. If you're already on Portal Two on the PC, guess what? Now you have this. That's pretty cool, right? Not too effing shabby. Uh, and uh, and I mean, this game came out a year ago, and they. Okay, stock now. price and stock price for this game is currently twenty bucks as of this recording, and I think they're—I don't know if the sale is still going, but they were just selling it for like less than seven. It's bananas. Was it like Portal One and Two together for yeah, something for eight like eight dollars? Yeah, that's that's so ridiculous value. Um, if you ever had any concerns, oh, I never did Wait. see that before. That's fantastic. That oh man, you're just one wow. of the little people. What a little great two-dimensional <laughs> guy. There I am. There I am. Oh, that's. Icing on the cake, sir. I, this has been this has been fun. I'm I'm excited to to dig into more of this stuff when other people aren't watching me be bad at Portal Two. So, Portal Two Perpetual Testing Initiative uh, has begun. So, if you're interested, get into it. Patrick, thanks for uh, for joining me for this. Mom.